Hi there, it's Samantha here from Using Technology Better and in this short video I'm going to talk about working offline in Google Drive. So there's two components to this. There's working offline with Google Files, so that is Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, Google Drawings. Um, Google Forms can't be used offline at this particular point. And then there's also working offline with non-Google files that might be stored in Google Drive, such as PDF files, Microsoft Office files, and other file formats that you might use in other applications. So to get started, let's do the working offline in Google Drive for Google Files. And to do that, you need to come up to your settings cog up the top here, go into settings, and the option you're looking for is just here in the middle, sync Google Docs, Sheets, Slides and Drawings files to this computer so that you can edit offline. Now, as it says there, it's not recommended on public or shared computers, so please only enable this setting on your own computer. Um, it is also a per computer setting, so if you move between a couple of different machines that are your own, you would need to enable it on both. Now, once that's been ticked, what will happen is all of the files there in Google Drive that are Google files will cache to Google Chrome. So you do have to do this in Google Chrome. And then when you are offline, you can simply still get into your Google Drive and use it in offline mode. Any changes that you make will then sync back up um, once you've actually gone back online. Now you can create new files, you can edit existing, all of those kind of things. Um, you, when you are offline, you could either get to your Google Drive by using the Apps button up here and then clicking on the Drive app, or you might like to have a bookmark so it's nice and easy to get to as well. Now in terms of working with non-Google files offline, that will require to use a tool called Drive File Stream. Now, there is another tool as well called Google Backup and Sync that's more targeted at the consumer market, whereas Drive File Stream is targeted more so at the business market. Now, Backup and Sync, the, the other tool I mentioned, is actually, um, it does actually download all your files, so it will give you offline access to all of those non-Google files by default. However, with Drive File Stream, what it actually does is just stream the files as you need them, so it doesn't download everything in advance. So that means that you will need to mark files you want to work with offline actually for offline access. I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. Now the other thing to know with Drive File Stream is that it does give you access to team drives, whereas the other tool I mentioned, Google Backup and Sync, doesn't. Now if you don't already have Drive File Stream, how you get it really depends on the settings in your organization, and indeed some organizations might not have it enabled full stop. Now in my particular case, I can click, click up here on the settings cog and I can say get Drive File Stream for Windows. If you didn't see that there, you could Google Drive File Stream and download it and run it and see if you've got access. Or of course you could talk to your IT team. Now once it's been enabled, what happens is it actually maps a drive as such to your computer. And you'll see here I'm on a Windows machine and I have Google Drive File Stream G. Now if I go into that, I'm gonna see my drive and team drives. If I, for example, go into a team drive, dig a bit deeper, I'm going to find some files. And here's some folders and some mixture of some Google files and non-Google files. And the idea behind file stream is I could say access this PDF here in Adobe Reader. There was a Word file, I could access it in Word, etc. But specifically, we're talking about offline here. So if I wanted to access this, Word, this um, PDF file offline, I need to right click it and go down to drive file stream here and say available offline. And I can also do that for a whole folder as well. So this is the kind of preparatory work you would need to do for non-Google files if you wanted to access them offline before you were actually offline. So there you go. That's how to use Google Drive offline mode in Google Chrome for Google Files offline and Drive File Stream for non-Google files offline. So thanks for watching.